What's going on folks? I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits and today I want to talk a little bit about an uh, interesting app that hit the market about two weeks ago called Sweatcoin. Man, when this thing hit the market in Canada, it was a big deal. Everyone was really into it. And I thought that uh, I would give it two weeks to find out what it's like before I actually do a review on it. I am definitely not a fan of reviewers who review beta versions or do a quick review on something before they actually know how it's like. Man, that ticks me off. Okay, I got it. Right now, it's giving me heck because I closed the app. If you close this app, it won't calculate your steps. Now, let's go over the basics of it. Um, right here, move us around. It's like, oh, it changes the landscape. This thing wants you to walk. It wants you to record your steps. Uh, but it wants you to go outside and walk. And uh, over time, it wants you to choose different ways that you walk. Here, if you go to your info, you can see this is how many steps I've taken in a day. Uh, I have that many steps to send. The thing is, you don't always get as many sweat coins per steps you take. So we'll do four cent. So that is uh, 651. And then once it goes through the analyzer, I might actually only get, you know what, maybe a hundred in this case. Because the sweat coin wants you to walk in new places. I can only speculate on exactly why it wants you to do that. Maybe it wants your location information to see where you go. Maybe it wants to double check GPS coordinates. You know when you go on Google Maps and they give you an address that's just the wrong place? I think it's because they... Oh, I got zero steps from that. Zero. I got zero steps. Anyways, you know when you, you go on Google Maps and you're trying to get to a place and it shows uh, it shows the location somewhere off the road a little bit? I almost wonder if this is a way for them to gauge how good maps are. So yeah, I took those steps around the house, I guess. I got 600 steps to send and I got zero sweat coin from it. So it definitely makes you go out <clears throat> and walk around. And it looks like you get diminishing returns. It definitely seems like you get diminishing returns. Now, if we go over at the bottom, you see here, we go to the shop. And the shop shows you, welcome to the future. Join our mission to turn sweat coins into money. I guarantee you that that's not actually going to work. New offers, title, free music from title. And you get wash bands. Uh, when I first started this, you could get a Fitbit, uh, a really basic version. Daily reward, you get a daily one sweat coin reward for watching an advertisement. But the thing I find about all of these offers is you have to put your credit card number in for a unique offer. At least it's up front with that, and I really like that. Information, uh, credit card number, credit card or debit is required. Remember, folks, don't ever give anyone your debit card number. Never do it. Never do it. It's never a good idea. Uh, find your perfect diet. Let's see. I bet this one wants credit card information. Uh, no, it, it doesn't. This I think this might be the first one. It doesn't want a credit or a debit card. Unique offer. But yeah, for any hardware type stuff, it definitely wants your credit card information. And all the things, it seems to be all the things you sign up for, the type of thing you have to put a credit card in. And maybe you'll get a free month or two, but then if you don't deactivate it, it'll take money from you. And I hate those things because I never remember to disable them. I never remember to uh, I never remember to use them. But some of y'all out there are intelligent people, and you can figure that out for yourselves, and uh, and you can do that. So two weeks, I got seventeen point five one. I uh, sweat coin, of course. I always get at least ten thousand steps a day. And uh, I have a feeling that even I have a feeling that even if they in the shopping, even if even if you can get free Fitbits, free whatever, the price is going to keep coming up and up and up, and uh, most reasonable people aren't going to be able to get that kind of uh, of returns. I don't see a whole lot of people being able to actually at the end of the day get this stuff oh yeah and they want you to bring people into it they want you to bring people into it some of these offers are for bringing people into it so when i started two weeks ago this was new you could get paypal money you get amazon money for bringing people into the fold that does uh, that's not offered anymore ultimately i don't like where this is going 
it takes a lot of battery life out. I would say it easily takes 25% extra. Easily, conservatively, it takes an extra 25% of my battery life. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of that. I need my battery life. This this phone is my work. This phone is my life. And if the battery dies, I could be missing out. I really could, and I really need that battery. So unfortunately, I would not recommend Sweatcoin. But as something fun to do for a week or two, yeah, you know what? It ain't bad for that. It ain't bad for just something fun to do. But if you're really trying to grind, if you're really trying to get returns in on it, you might want to look somewhere else. Ultimately, it's not bad, though. It's not bad. It's, it's fun. It definitely is fun. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't worry too much about this. It's uh, diminishing returns. Not quite as nice stuff at the end of the day that you can actually get. You have to have a credit card. Probably if you don't have a credit card, you can't get even half of these things. But that's just how she goes. Anyway, this is it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And uh, have a good one. Take care of each other, folks. Catch you later.